Invest Insights. I'm Abby Malone. I'm joined today by Jamie Wool, the Office Managing Partner for RSN Minneapolis. Jamie, thank you very much for being with me today. Great to be here, Abby. Jamie, you've been with RSM for the majority of your career. With that being said, how has the definition of what it means to be an effective and value-driven accounting firm changed over the years? Yeah, that, that's a great question, Abby. You know, really what I'd say, a lot of the basics really haven't changed. And, and what I mean by that is, what does good client service look and feel like? And there's the old adage that nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. And that hasn't changed. Now, what has changed is the complexities of the business world. They have gotten much more complex um, and, and really even accelerating with time. And what mm -hmm. I'm saying is clients are looking for what we term first, quote, first choice advisors. So really an advisor that can help them navigate all of the things that are going on in the world, the changes that are coming at just a phenomenal pace to give them what I'd say a perspective um, that they otherwise wouldn't have, and really somebody that they can depend upon in regards to help navigate their business challenges. Key questions facing businesses today centers around technology, and many in particular are looking at cryptocurrencies and blockchain, some with skepticism and others with excitement. Considering the president's recent executive order on formalizing the regulations around crypto, in what ways do you believe these innovations will impact the accounting profession and financial management? Yeah, that, that's a, a really great question. And it, it already has impacted us, but I think we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. And, and I'd use the analogy of, of think about where the internet was in the early to mid nineties. We, we had no idea where this was gonna go and how disruptive it was gonna be to all of our lives. Same thing with blockchain and crypto. And, and I, I would say more so blockchain is really where we're seeing a lot of changes going on. Use the example of um, uh, food chain and some of the requirements that are coming out of Walmart. Um, you know, blockchain is a key component of really how businesses are gonna work with each other going forward, as well as how they're working with each other today. So, you know, I, I think blockchain is going to certainly have a big impact on the companies that we work with and how they work with the other companies. Mm -hmm. And I think a key component of this is not going to be that our, our clients are going to be driving those changes, but really it's going to be coming from the companies that they do business with. And again, I'll go back to the Walmart example is Walmart is driving those changes to their, what you'd say, their partners and vendors on how they do business together. So that's gonna certainly impact how companies work with each other. And we're gonna see that uh, in our profession too, um, how we go about doing our audits, doing our tax returns and tax, um, tax advising, and then our consulting uh, area of the business too. So you know, all of this is gonna have tremendous impact on us. And you know, we, we can either take one or two tax, we can lean into this or we can try to avoid it. And very simply, we know what the right answer is. And here at RSM, we're very much leaning into blockchain and crypto. So for the blockchain, we actually have um, uh, groups within our innovation group that is focused on how do, we, how do we adopt blockchain in regards to how we do business and how we help uh, our clients uh, do business um, with their partner companies too. Increasingly, ESG is becoming a foundation for investor and business financial decisions. In what areas is ESG driving significant innovation or creative rethinking of business models? Yeah, you know, I, I really like where we're going with ESG. And, and to a large degree, it's in its infancy. But it's really going to, I think, help drive what are the important factors for businesses and driving value for companies and what I'd say they're key partners going forward. So ESG is such an important part of this because it helps align what, um, where businesses are going, their strategies, um, where they see opportunities and with their key stakeholders. And so their key stakeholders, of course, include investors, um, but also in regards to who they do business with, um, who, who's gonna be their employees going forward and what are their corporate values 
And how does that align with what's um, so important out there in the world today of how companies um, position themselves for the future, how they position themselves for success, um, and, and how they um, create alignment uh, for what I'd say creating future value. So um, we're, we're very excited about the opportunities that ESG pre presents, um, both in regards to working with our clients, as well as what um, uh, our corporate values here at RSM evolve around that too. As we round out today's discussion on creativity, what role does creativity play in remaining competitive in today's landscape? Yeah, a, a great question there. You know, um, we look at creativity, we call it innovation. Um, so we have a chief innovation officer uh, within RSM and, and that person's role is, hey, let's figure out where are things going? Um, you go back to the days of Wayne Gretzky um, being his hockey career and his comment was, I'm successful because I go where the puck's going, not where it is today. And that's exactly how we look at creativity and innovation is, where are things going and not necessarily where are things going today? An example of that is we've created a CEO innovation fund. And really what this is, is it's $5 million that we've set aside with an RSM. And those monies are available for our employees to create, um, submit creative ideas in regards to, you know, what is a process that we could be doing better um, in regards to either um, taking out time or uh, expense out of some of the process that we're doing right now. And secondly, what are some of the processes that are gonna be um, important to us going forward that we're maybe not thinking about right now? Right. We find the best ideas really come from what we're seeing in the market, as well as what our employees are telling us. And so we've got um, an actual team uh, put together that helps look at all these uh, submitted innovation ideas and putting those into actual practice. And, and we've had some really tremendous success on, on those ideas. And, and those aren't coming from a group, but they're coming from our employees and what we're seeing in the marketplace too. Fabulous. Well, thank you so much, Jamie. Great, great. Yeah, this is great. Been uh, enjoyable to spend some time with you uh, this afternoon. Same. Well, that was Jamie Wool, the Office Managing Partner for RSM Minneapolis. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to hear more CEOs and thought leaders share their opinions and advice on today's business planet. Until next time, I'm Abby Maloney, and this has been Invest Insights. Thank you for tuning in.